asking with a microphone, so you have to bear with me. Um, my name is Angela Jemis, and I joined online in April of 2001. <laughs> because I needed to stay at home with my six year old stepdaughter. After one short week of being with Avon, my twin sister, who if you have a twin sister, they copy everything that you do. <laughs> so she decided she had to be with Avon Repton. So I started with leadership with her. <clears throat> but in all honesty, I feel that it was my it was when I signed up my second recruit. Um, it, that's when you know leadership began with me. And the reason why I signed up my second recruit was because I made the commitment. After being a month into Avon, thinking I could do this by myself, figured out I couldn't. I went to one of Jamie Loveland's meetings. So, and so in her meeting, you know, she asked you to go shopping, and I looked at her and I thought, you know, that wasn't going to be for me. I was scared to death to go do that. And so I decided one day I'm going to be brave and I'm going to go do this. And when we were out shopping with Jamie, and if you know Jamie Loveland at all, she can walk in a store and she'll know everybody's name by the time she leaves. She's never met a stranger. And she will get that phone number that they say that you have to get. And you're sitting here going, wow. But on that um, trip shopping, I met my second person that I signed up. And Jamie, um, and I was amazed because I was like, you know, I don't know anybody in Salt Lake City. I'm new. I'm from a very small town in Kansas. And it's like everybody that I've met, all my customers, they are the same people. And my friends and family are pretty far away, and they do buy from me online. But I, I'm proud that I have 150 people now that will buy from me. <laughs> but the second thing that happened with that recruit is that Jamie wasn't available to help me fill out my first contract. So she she introduced me to somebody named um, Judy Brown. And Judy Brown, she was kind enough to give up her um, Saturday morning. And we went to Wendy's and we met this girl. We signed up the contract. And after she left, Judy stayed probably another 30 40 minutes with me, and she told me everything that she accomplished with Avon, and just clicking that representative site, it didn't really, I mean, I read about all this, and I said, yeah, it didn't have any meaning until you met somebody who, you know, had done, you know, what you're trying to achieve, so, you know, so I, I always feel blessed that I met, you know, Judy Brown, and Jamie, Jamie pushes me. I'm the shyest person on planet Earth. <laughs> I probably talk to people backwards and stuff that's just ordinarily said, I am doing it. There's room for everybody and they want. <laughs> but um, now they've gotten way off and what I wrote here. Well, what I wanted to say. <laughs> but, you know, I just want to say to everybody that, you know, I never thought I could be a unit leader. I was shocked that I knew the president of the club because to me that is a lot of sales. And, but I have done that. And when Jamie asked me what my goal is in the future, I don't usually put out that I want to be an advanced unit leader. I always say <coughs> my goal is still is to be Judy Brown. <laughs> that is my goal. And that 